Um, for us, from the security side, uh, border maritime threats, this is our, our number one uh, priority and trying to maintain maritime domain awareness. Sector Seattle is what we, what we call the captain of the port. Captain of the port zone, and that's for commercial type vessels, big cargo vessels, etc. But as far as other security and law enforcement in the waters, uh, Coast Guard Group Port Angeles is the uh, group responsible for that. Um, anywhere in the nation that you go, this is going to be the same. This is going to be the same thing, regardless, as it as it, as it relates to the. Uh, Navigable waters of the United States. Yes. Good question. What's a WMD? Weapons of mass destruction. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> some of the things that we like to watch out for is uh, are these small boats, single or multiple. Sometimes working in groups is uh, any of them engaged in illegal smuggling or contraband. So notice how we don't say narcotics. Exclusively, or anything like that, or terrorism, etc. It's, it's, it's all the same thing. It, you use the same delivery method for, for any any type of thing. So you know, it's going to be illicit in one way or another. Um, all we all we all we want to do is maintain awareness of what's out there and what's going on. <coughs> Um, Coast Guard uh, Search and Rescue, it's our legacy uh, mission all the way back from the uh, days of the uh, Life Saving Service. Um, our uh, SAR line, we have our main line, the 417-5840, which is the one that most of you are calling in. That's our main line for anything, be it search and rescue, be it security issues, uh, Pollution response, etc. Uh, but also, obviously, 911. Everybody in the area will automatically just patch any 911 call into our command center, and we will respond from there. Um, Citizen Chat Action Network has uh, been one of the lead uh, groups helping us in uh, maintaining an excellent SAR and assistance uh, response. We have a, right now at this time, I think it's up to 92% uh, of all reported cases are end up being uh, on a positive result rather than a negative result. Obviously, we like we, we call a negative result something that there was uh, either a, a loss of uh, life or property, and we like to keep that at zero. Obviously, you know, it's a maritime environment where we, we, we would hope to do 100% every single time and stuff, but. Uh, I think 92 right now is as best as we can do with the resources available. So, um, we work very, like I said, we work very close with the Canadian Canadian Coast Guard. Um, um, some of the assets from over there, um, and we also uh, supplement the Canadian our, our Canadian partners in uh, in this mission. Um, there's just a couple of examples of some uh, recent activity, and it's 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 very common. It's very common, especially now during the summer. There's there's as you know, people like to get out into the water. The weather is a lot nicer, so it keeps us very busy during the summertime uh, on both sides of the water. Uh, for interdiction abilities, so we kind of keep it the same as our uh, search and rescue abilities. Um, we like to have a response time of less than 30 minutes because uh, we, we we're not going to necessarily know what's going to happen before it happens and stuff. So uh, as you can see, the area of responsibility, uh, 30 minutes is uh, it's a pretty good average window. Um, we like to keep it down shorter than that. Um, we also have four Coast Guard Investigative Service uh, agents assigned to us, uh, and that's basically our um, investigative side of the house after we do a response to things. 
um, and, and they worked several things. The Coast Guard Investigative Service is also uh, like our uh, um, internal affairs as far as uh, personnel within the Coast Guard. So they do multiple things. They do uh, investigations for uh, terrorism, homeland security, counter smuggling, counter narcotics, and then also <coughs> internal affairs. Um, as you saw some of the units, uh, 87, 87 foot uh, coastal patrol boats, uh, 110 foot island class cutter, which is a cutty hunk that has been the, the one that's been out here in Port Angeles for quite some time now. There's also uh, one of our tenant units as the uh, Coast Guard Cutter Active, and uh, that one is uh, what we call a major asset. That one actually goes down uh, and helps out with operations out in the Pacific, out up in Alaska, uh, the fishing grounds in Alaska, also down in uh, counter narcotics, counter smuggling operations down in uh, the uh, Eastern Pacific in Mexico. Um, some of the units, uh, we have the uh, new uh, Maritime Homeland Security Helicopter 65Cs, which is, if you see them flying around, they, they kind of look similar as to the old uh, dolphins, orange dolphins that you've seen around for quite a while and stuff, but these are different. These are, um, they serve two purposes, you know, search and rescue and also Homeland Security. So now they are, they have capabilities for Homeland Security, which means that they're armed. Are they the gray? No, they're still the orange. They're, they're still the, the, the orange helicopters. Yeah, but they sound They sound different. Yeah, they're yeah. 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 uh, updated, <laughs> a little bit updated, uh, more powerful engines on these and stuff because they, yeah, they have uh, some plating and stuff that, um, you know, uh, since, since they're armed now, it, it keeps them, uh, keeps the crews safer. Let's put it that way. Um, then we have our 33-foot uh, uh, specialty law enforcement boats. Uh, those operate out of the uh, Bellingham area just because of the dynamics of uh, having to have good speed in the islands and stuff. So those are the same ones that we use down in the Florida Straits and uh, down in California. Um, and also, in all, out of all the stations, 25-foot uh, response boats, small. Those are. Uh, just uh, boats that are quick to get out in the water, small crew, uh, the response time. And then the uh, 47 foot motor lifeboats, uh, those, we use them mostly out offshore, out in the MA and, and, and the push. Those are the, the ones that you see on the, on the films for uh, playing in the surf. Um, Turn over a couple of times and keep running. <laughs> yes, yes. They're fully rideable, and the one that you'll see today, the uh, the new uh, response boat medium that has a the self riding capability as well. Not not like these uh, 47. forty seven foot. Those are specifically for heavy weather conditions and stuff. But uh, it's uh, <clears throat> it's a good thing having this uh, this new uh, forty five foot uh, asset, which gives us uh, multiple capabilities. <coughs> so. 